Hi, I'm James Bruce, you're watching MakeUseOf.com and this week I've been taking a look at the HiCam A7. It's a budget outdoor security cam with Alexa compatibility and local recording. It's currently the cheapest outdoor security camera that I can find at least on Amazon at around $60 with Alexa capabilities. So for the same price as a Nest Outdoor, Arlo or Ring security camera, you could get two, three or even four of these. Bargain. So is it worth buying? In the box you'll find the device itself, which is a bullet style weatherproof security camera with adjustable mounting plate, two antenna for Wi-Fi and a separate optional IR motion detector, a slot for SD card local recording and a power adapter. The device itself can be used over Ethernet and comes with a nice waterproof cover for your Ethernet cable as well as activity and link status lights on the cable itself, which is pretty unique and definitely appreciated. However, it's not power over Ethernet, so you will still need the power adapter or some kind of breakout for your existing PoE setup. To be honest, having to find somewhere to plug it into was probably the most restrictive part of this package, I felt. Although I can run any length of Ethernet cable anywhere in the house or garden, trying to find a plug socket was more difficult and basically restricted me to putting it around or near to the garage where I could run the cable in. Now this is in stark contrast to the RioLink Argus Pro that we checked out last month, which came with a solar panel and was completely wireless so it could be plugged in literally anywhere and just use the solar power to charge its built-in battery. There is no battery in this thing, it does need an always-on power connection. To mount the device you can either use the included mounting plate and then bolt the camera to this, or you can just screw the camera directly into whatever surface you're mounting it to, which is what I did onto the shed. Before you do that, however, I would suggest taking a moment to set up the Wi-Fi ahead of mounting it in case you have problems. It can also be set up more easily with the Ethernet cable, but for me the Wi-Fi setup was fine. The HiCam app is probably the most disappointing aspect of the entire package. It's extremely generic looking and really quite antiquated. The UI looks like it was designed 10 years ago. It gets the job done though. It's easy to navigate and to figure out where all the settings are. And I didn't experience any crashes or any bugs while I was using it. However, it is just a little bit disappointing to see that kind of a UI in 2018. I also turned on motion alerts over email and they seemed to work reliably once I told Gmail it wasn't spam. You get three snapshots with each alert, which is great because often they'll only send a single snapshot which won't properly capture the motion event. So you're left sort of wondering, well, what triggered it? Despite the presence of a microphone button, there's actually no talkback capabilities in the device. It's one way only. So of course, you do have audio from the camera itself you can expect. However, bear in mind it's pretty exposed there and there's quite a bit of width. The buttons when viewing a live stream are really hard to see. There's no image adjustment and no zoom either. But you can trigger a snapshot and swap to an HD stream, that's about it. There's an alert list within the app, but if you don't have an SD card installed, all you're going to see is the date and time. You can't get any further information about it. And while there is an option to use cloud storage, which is 72 hours free with short clips, you actually can't use that, again, unless you already have an SD card locally installed. So it's not really a replacement for an SD card, it's more of an enhancement or a backup. So when I say it has Alexa capabilities, I mean that you can talk to your Alexa device and say, Alexa, show me outside. Okay. And it works pretty well. However, I did find it was a little bit slow. It took about five seconds from giving the command to actually seeing the feed on the device. Setting this up at the moment is a little bit more complex than it should be as the firmware required is still sort of in beta. So you have to email support and say, can you enable this for my camera? Now it's open to everyone. Anyone can request this and you'll be given it. You don't have to be a journalist or anything. And they expect that it'll be live for everyone by or around Christmas this year. So while it was quite slow to respond, I did find it worked reliably. On no occasions did I find I couldn't actually access the stream. It always brought it up for me eventually. Now those wishing to integrate into a larger CCTV system will be pleased to know that it offers a standard on VIF video stream which can be added to third party applications such as Synology Surveillance Station. Now I had no problem adding it there, it was automatically discovered. The only thing that didn't quite work was the motion detection from the camera itself. I had to turn on motion detection in Synology in order to get that feature working. In terms of image quality, well, it's nothing amazing. You're not gonna be blown away, but it certainly gets the job done. The HD stream is clear, you can pick out details, and you can see what's going on, including in night mode. So, should you buy the HiCam A7? 
Yes, if you're looking for a outdoor security camera on a budget that you can integrate into third party applications. It offers the features you'd expect as well as some you wouldn't like Alexa support, albeit a bit fussy to set up right now. However, you shouldn't buy the HiCam A7 if you're looking for an indoor camera because there are much cheaper options out there around half the price you can get a decent indoor camera that will work with Alexa. Also don't buy it if you're expecting some flashy user interface, fancy cloud storage plans, talkback capabilities to use it as say a doorbell, or if you want to place it somewhere really remote in your garden where there's no power. This will require power all the time. Anyway, thanks for watching and please hit like and consider subscribing if this review helped you to make an informed purchase decision. We do two reviews and giveaways a week, as well as the occasional technology tips, tricks, and tutorials. Also, be sure to check out our new website called blocksdecoded.com. It's a crypto site where we try to explain the concepts of cryptocurrency and blockchain uses in simple, easy to understand terms with impartial advice. Until next time. Oh, hey, this is the end of the video, which means we have a HiCam A7 to give away to one lucky reader. To enter the competition, simply click on the link in the description. And for about two weeks, at the end of that article, you're going to find a giveaway widget where you can enter to win one of these. Now there's a bunch of ways to get bonus entries in the competition, one of which is using the video bonus code. The code you'll want for that is HiCam Alexa. All one word, HiCam Alexa. Type that in, you'll get five bonus entries into the competition. The winner will be contacted by email and shown in the widget once they've been picked. Good luck and I'll see you next time.